Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome founder, Mara Group, Mr. Ashish J. Thakkar. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Ashish J. Thakkar. I'm the founder of the Mara Group and the Mara Foundation. I was a refugee. I'm a school dropout, an entrepreneur, a philanthropist. I hope to be an astronaut next year. And more importantly, I'm a fourth generation African. My family moved to Africa in 1890, and we went through the unfortunate incident of Idi Amin uh, in 1972. We got kicked out, went to England, started again, and then we came back home. We came back to Africa. In 93, we moved to Rwanda. Nine months later, unfortunately, the genocide broke out. Me, my sister, and parents were refugees during this genocide. We luckily, again, came out alive, but unfortunately lost everything. I then decided to quit school at the age of 15 and support the family. So I took a loan of $5,000 and set up a little IT company in Uganda, and then slowly uh, made it a pan-African business. 18 years later, the Mara Group is in 22 countries. We have about 11,000 employees, and we're focused on manufacturing, technology, real estate, and financial services. The Mara Foundation, our nonprofit, is focused on youth empowerment and women empowerment. Today, I'm pleased to say that we empower over 250,000 businesses across Africa, and we are a partner in the Young Africa Leaders Initiative as well, which President Obama announced a few days ago. As a young African, uh, and note how I emphasize young, um, as a young African, I'm extremely happy today. I think the US-Africa Summit is history in the making in the true sense. The United States entrepreneurial culture, the, the, US, the depth of entrepreneurship, the depth of capital in this country is unbelievable. And I'm a firm believer and rather than reinventing the wheel, is the best combination of global and local. Global organizations partnering with local, local, local organizations like Mara and many others is the answer. A case in point is Atlas Mara, which my partner Bob Diamond and I set up a few months ago to buy banks in Africa. We raised a billion dollars within six, seven months, and majority of our capital came from the US, and majority of that capital had never invested in Africa before. So the appetite is absolutely there. I think we need to change the narrative. People are talking about bringing Silicon Valley to Africa. I'm a believer that rather than trying to bring Silicon Valley to Africa, let's bring Africa to Silicon Valley. I think it's time we as Africa become innovative, create solutions that we can take global rather than trying to reinvent what's already been done. And I think just to sum up, um, somebody in San Francisco recently asked me, a media person asked me, they said, you know, when is Africa going to catch up? And I looked at them and, and, and then I said, look, I'm so sorry, we're, we're actually not going to catch up. And they looked at me quite shocked and they said, why? And I said, because we're going to lead the way. So thank you so much for being here. And God bless you all.